this guy has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artist. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of men. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. I haven't seen, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting step one step two before his opponent even realizes, now he's in on my leg. And if they do get their hips back, immediately he's up into a foot sweep, or a headlock, or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the U.S. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter. Make his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 165 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, USA, Elkins. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And when the action begins, a referee in charge, Eve Levine. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. Ready? All right, so the fight is now underway. We'll see how long it goes. You've got a submission specialist on one side and on the other side. Maybe the most well-rounded fighter in this division. Yeah, he is one of the best fighters in the entire UFC. But in front of him, he has one of the most dangerous fighters across all divisions in the octagon. Because that one skill he has is so good that you're, you're in danger the entire time. Huge block there. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh! Huge kick to the head. He engages in a single collar tie here. Nice job to land the kick to the body there by Lee. All right, under three minutes now to go in round one. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Such a fast leg kick. Nice. All right, so he lands another jab now, just snapping that thing. Oh, that is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. And he landed the right hand there. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Changes levels now, DC. Oh, man, he was in a single, got to a high crotch. Oh! He flipped him over the top. What a fantastic takedown. Welcome to the Cormier Express. <laughs> Elkins 
his lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. And they both stand up. He is all about that left kick to the body. Oh, nice combination. Oh, here comes the kick. That one won. A huge strike lands there. Somehow, his opponent stayed up. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. Fight's gonna be over for you, what a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He missed it up. He went high with his opponent thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. How about those five minutes? All right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights he has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was gonna be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead. And I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. Look at All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets under. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his... <laughs> How's his opponent still stand? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Oh! Combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just flowing. He's like in a zone. It's like the basketball hoop becomes twice its size. This guy today is looking at focus mitts in his opponent. And maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got to work very bad. And now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Working off his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Lee gets back up, back into his comfort zone. So a much different approach for him here in the second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with a the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Oh, he hurt him bad with a jab. Liver kick. Outstanding knee to the body there. He's the taller fighter. Might as well put that size to good use, and he certainly did so there. Right punches there. Nice kick there by Elkins. Lunges forward with a left there. Elkins' lower jaw is just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. Ooh, what a punch. Well, you saw his reference in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that jab. Blocks the shot. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, <laughs> if you're gonna sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right... Oh! He's trouble. He's hurt bad. <laughs> that kick blocked by Lee. strike to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming, and before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. Well, hard to perform much better than he did tonight. A huge knockout under the lights. They'll be talking about that one for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Ian Levine is called to stop for this contest at four minutes, 48 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the 
Smith. 